Hello everyone and welcome to rchub.com. I'm Tony and today we're going to be talking about LiPo batteries. Now we did a video before that explained what the S rating means, what the C rating means and stuff like that. Today we're going to get back into that and we're going to dive even deeper into it and I'm going to explain even more of these numbers to you that are on the front of these packs. Alright, so as you can see, we have a lot of batteries sitting here, but they're only actually categorized into four distinct groups. When you go out and you buy LiPos, you're going to buy them by their S rating. Your aircraft or your car or truck is going to tell you what that S rating needs to be. Some of them are going to say between 2 and 4 cell, some of them are going to say 4 to 6 cell, and some of them are going to be like these, which is a 1 cell battery. Now, these are 1S, these are 2S, 3S, 4S, and to see it real clearly, on this Gen's Ace, you can actually see each individual cell. Each one of these cells is 3.7 volts, and they're all wired in series. On here, you see the 4S 1P. 4S is four cells wired in series. 1P is you only have one cell wired in parallel. If it was a 2P, we would have two cells in parallel, and that would be 2, 2, and 2, and 2, and then those parallel packs would be series wired to give you your 14.8 volts. Now when you're talking about milliamp rating, usually the higher the milliamp, the bigger the battery. We can take into account these 1S's for example. This one right here is a 300 milliamp pack. So is this one. They're virtually the exact same size. This one is a 550 milliamp pack. As you can see, it's quite a bit larger, but it holds more capacity, gives you more flight time or run time. Now just like with the 1S packs, the 2S packs are the exact same way. On this one right here, I've got a 200 milliamp pack. This one here is a 250. 330, 800, and a 1000. Now if Turner G kind of does this a little bit different, they got a 0.8 and a 1. And that's just kind of how they do it, and we'll get into more of what that number could be useful for here in a second. The 3S is exactly the same. This one's a 1000 milliamp, these are 2200s, this one's a 2650. All right, now that you've figured out your S rating, now you need to figure out your C rating. The C rating is the maximum discharge rate that you can pull out of the pack at one time. A lot of packs, such as this Turnergy right here, are going to have a double C rating. It's going to have like 2535. Now, 25 is what it can handle continuously. 35 is going to be what's called as burst rate, you know, short, less than 10 second burst of 35C. Now to explain the C rating, we're going to start with this 1000 milliamp pack right here because this is extremely easy to explain. 1000 milliamp, divide that by 1000. That's where this 1.0 comes in. So we have one amp hour. This particular pack is a 30 to 40C. All you have to do is multiply the 30 by one and you get your maximum discharge rate of the pack which is 30 amps with a 40 amp burst. Now a 1000 milliamp pack is really easy to figure out your C rating. But what about a 2650? This is where a lot of people get confused on the C rating. And I mean it's the exact same process. You take 2650 and you divide it by 1000. Once you take 2650 and divide it by 1000, then what you need to do is you need to multiply it by your C rating. And on this one, it's a 25C battery. So you just take and multiply 2.65 by 25. Once you multiply those together, you come up with a number of 66.25. That is the maximum discharge rate that you can pull out of this pack at one time. Now these may only be a 25C battery, but they have a 50C burst rate. I know you guys can't really read that. I can't really read it and I'm standing right here. All right, now I've had a lot of questions on what MAH actually stands for. MAH stands for milliamp hours. And a lot of people have heard the amp hours, but these are actually rated in milliamp hours. Like I said before, you take 2650 and you divide it by 1000. That gives you 2.65. That is your amp hour. You can just you can get rid of that M. Now the milliamp hour rating is going to be your general runtime of how long the pack's going to last. The 2650s are going to last just slightly longer than a 2200, and the 2200s are going to last a little over twice as long as the 1000 packs. All right, everyone. So I hope that kind of helps you out in understanding what the C rating is, the S rating, the milliamp hours, and even that P rating. A lot of people are really confused in that P rating. Just remember. 1S or 2S, 3S, 4S is going to be your cell count. Those are the cells that are going to be wired in series. The P count is all those cells wired in series, each cell is going to have a parallel cell. It's going to have another cell with it. It's not going to change its voltage, but it is going to change its capacity. It's going to theoretically double it. Now, as always, if any of you guys have any questions, come over to the forum and post up. Right below this video is a link to an article. You can come in there, you can ask questions on the batteries, 
what does this mean, what does this mean, and you can even come in and post suggestions on what you would like to see, whether you want a specific battery or something like that. So as always, I appreciate everyone watching this video. I look forward to seeing you on the forum, and we'll see you guys in the next video.